friends welcome back to my channel so this vlog is a little bit unconventional because it is not really a vlog it's more of like a casual sit down video there's no makeup going on we're just sitting in my living room on the floor by the way and this video is slightly different because it has quite a few elements to it. I have a bit of a haul for you guys. And I'm also going to be doing a demo of my new hair products, like literally everything. I'm very, very excited because I've been making a lot of changes um, in the last few months uh, for my personal health and well-being. And my hair care is a huge part of it. So if you guys have been following me for a minute, then you would have seen on Instagram, I had my hair texturized. And so I went to a salon to get it professionally done. I didn't want to attempt it at home and risk kind of damaging my hair. I picked up a couple things for my hair and I really want to share it with you guys. This is a luxury hair care haul. I just want to put that disclaimer out there. This is all luxury products. And so I'm really excited to share it with you because I just kind of like really want to step up my hair game. So I picked up one thing from Sephora it is the Olaplex Hair Perfector. And this is the number three. And so I've heard so many good things about this and I'm really, really excited to try it. It repairs and strengthens all hair types and this is a bond builder. So you would use this before shampoo. This is a pre-shampoo product. I think regular priced, it's $38 and I got it for 28 because I used my $10 off. Now for the really exciting stuff, I grabbed something from Holtz and Holt Renfrew is a really, it's like a high-end luxury department store, much like your Saks. Um, in the US we also have Saks here but Saks doesn't carry this brand but I placed an order for curbside pickup of the Oribe and this is their gold lust collection I also know that they have a black hair care collection I think it's their moisture one that's the one in the green packaging this one is really really popular as well they also have a signature collection but Dominique Baker talks a bit about the Oribe shampoo and hair mask and I thought I would try their trio which has the shampoo, conditioner, and hair oil. This set was $145 from Holt Renfrew. So it comes in this beautiful, beautiful box and I'm fairly certain based on the reading and the videos that I've been watching, I'm fairly certain the original um, rendition or the original piece for this box is hand drawn and then I think the rest of them are printed onto the boxes but Orbe is actually well known for kind of collaborating with artists to do their boxes they did collaborate with an indigenous artist once for one of their boxes which I I saw and it was absolutely beautiful this is what you would call like the ultimate high-end hair care product is definitely not something that you need to have but the minute I found out about it I just became obsessed and I had to try it so let me show you what's in here and it comes with fairly good size items I opened this up already because I took some photos from my blog when you open the box it has this really lovely kind of um, wax paper on top it's absolutely stunning absolutely beautiful so um, thoughtful and intentional it really goes to show that they did not skimp anywhere on the detail and just the ultimate overall experience of these products so when you open the box you see these three items the first one is the gold lust repair and restore shampoo and then it is the gold lust repair and restore conditioner and then last but not least it's the gold lust nourishing hair oil and so I thought I would try this I currently use the Briogeo don't despair repair and out of of that entire line I truly truly enjoy the deep hydration mask or the deep conditioning mask I do love that one one of the last things I also grabbed from Orbe is their bomb door which is their heat styling shield which is basically kind of like a heat protectant styler um, for your hair and because I'm gonna be flat ironing and blow drying today I thought I would try this out I've heard really really good things and honestly guys the packaging is just so luxe so beautiful but it shields your hair from thermal damage the super light styler with heat activated polymer technology and healing cassie sandalwood and maracuja oils protect and nourishes fragile strands sitting in sleekness and radiant shine while you blow dry straighten or curl but the really big thing that i want to share with you guys today is my new blow dryer my dyson i believe this is a supersonic i've already done a video with you guys showing you 
the flat iron, the Dyson Corral. But this is what we were waiting for and there's so many boxes in here, I cannot wait to show you. Now I'm just gonna randomly grab a box here and see what is in each box. I am so excited. So this is the beautiful velvet travel bag, much like the one for my Corral Flatiron, but this one is black and it has hot pink piping. The closure is magnetic, so that's really lovely. And the magnet feels quite strong too. This is the stand for the blow dryer. So there, oh, that's heavy. There's this piece here. And I think this part goes onto the bottom like that. There's this round piece. And I think this just kind of slides right in. There we go. There's a click. Click is always a good thing. I'm very curious, do you guys keep your boxes? I like to keep them. Sometimes I like resell things. Not to say I'm gonna sell this, but I like to keep my stuff for storage purposes. Like if we're moving, then I have like the original kind of stuff to put it in. This one is, doesn't say, oh, here we go. This is the paddle brush this I'm very excited for if I can get it out oh it's got that new brush smell <laughs> this is the paddle brush it's lovely very sleek very luxe looking and I'm just gonna drop it in my travel bag for now I do it on my lap so I don't drop this whoa wow guys I am so excited look at this Oh my gosh, this, are, this is the blow dryer and these are all the, um, the pieces or the extensions. But okay, before I pick this up, let me just show you. When you slide off the top, this is pretty much what you were greeted with, this beautiful pink blow dryer. And my life is quite colorless, so I wanted to go with something that, you know, I could be okay with having a little bit of color. So this is the blow dryer and it just looks like that. And then these are the individual pieces. It has kind of like the targeted blower. And if I remember correctly, these are all magnetic. So yeah, just snaps right on there. And then this is the diffuser attachment. So I'm going to pop that off and pop that on, it looks like that. And then here is the plug. The piece that I'm really looking forward to is this one here. This is the one I'm going to be using on my hair today. It is the comb attachment. So I'm going to plug this in and make sure that it works. Wow, wow, that is smooth. So let me go ahead and get all of this mess cleaned up and I will see you guys upstairs when I get started on my hair. I hope you're as excited as I am. I'm looking forward to the results of this. I haven't had my hair flat ironed in two years and I haven't flat ironed my own hair in I can't even remember. It's been many, many, many years and so I'm looking forward to doing this myself. I hope I haven't lost my touch too much, but let's go ahead and get started with the rest of our demo. All right, friends, so we are upstairs and the first thing that I'm gonna do is we're gonna start with the Olaplex. And now the instructions say to use it on damp towel dried hair, but Dominique Baker says that it, she found that it worked better when her hair was like a bit more wet. So I'm gonna wet my hair and then I'm gonna apply um, a little bit of this on my hair and then scalp to ends until it is sat uh, thoroughly saturated and leave on for a minimum of 10 minutes. But I do wanna kind of get up close and show you guys my ends because they're not in the best condition. 
you can see that. Or maybe I'll just use a watering can and just wet my hair right here. I'm gonna get my towel and then I'm gonna apply a bit of this to my hair. And then to kill time, I'm gonna do some laundry and stuff. All right, friends, so my hair is wet and now I'm gonna run the Olaplex through it. So I'm gonna take a little bit, like that much, I'd say like a quarter size. I'm gonna run it through my hair in sections. I'm gonna just put a little twist in this one. And then I'm gonna just run this through the rest of my hair. So you didn't miss much. I twisted my whole head and then I just kind of rubbed the excess that kind of like came on my hands just along my scalp line where the parts are. And now I'm going to put my heat cap on. I have the most ultra luxurious heat cap you will ever come across. Before I did like all the reading that I did on my hair or just on taking care of your hair, I realized how much I was doing wrong and just basically how much stuff I just wasn't doing. It just goes to show you like how little so many of us um, know about our hair. And I'm just kind of like really excited to be on this journey and learn more. It's now 2.45 and so I'm gonna get started on some laundry, get some clothes folded, and then by the time I'm done doing that, then I should be able to wash this out and then shampoo and condition my hair with the Oribe products. As the sun is starting to set, which means that I am losing precious daylight time. It is 3.30 and I basically kept this in for 45 minutes, but I'm about to jump in the shower, rinse this out and get into the shampoo and conditioner. I will say my hair already feels like super slick and my ends look really good. I feel like with continued treatment, this could be something that really works. All right, friends, so I finished up with the Orbe shampoo and conditioner and I co-opted one of Hina's old shirts. I put the hair mayonnaise in and then I put the plastic bag back on my hair and then I wrapped a t-shirt around it just to kind of like trap and keep the heat in. So I'm gonna rinse it out and then I'm gonna leave in oil and then blow dry and flat iron. I deep conditioned with the hair mayonnaise hair mask. I'm super excited to be using this again. I used to use it all the time when I was growing up. Just gonna detangle again with my comb. Honestly, this is the most curls I've ever seen since um, I got my texturizer about eight weeks ago. All right, so here's the blow dryer. I'm gonna snap in the white tooth comb. And I also have my paddle brush or my wet brush. I'm gonna go ahead and plug her in. The, oh, my hair is so soft. Wow. Wow, that's really soft. I'm gonna apply my leave-in. I'm gonna go in next with the Orbe Gold Lust Nourishing Oil. So I'm just gonna do, I'll do three pumps. Apply a little bit extra to the ends, just one more pump. Just solely focused on the ends of my hair. The Balm Door, and this one you also work through damp hair. So I'm gonna probably use Let's see how much one pump gives you. Yeah, that's two pumps. So that's, I'm gonna do three pumps like the oil. This is like a creamy consistency, almost like a lotion. And then in terms of the consistency of 
the shampoo. It's like really thick and gummy, almost like maple syrup. I'm gonna turn on the blow dryer now. All right guys, so that took about three minutes to dry my hair, which is crazy. So I'm gonna go back in with the heat styling shield and I'm gonna focus another pump on my ends since they do still feel just a little dry. So we're just gonna do it on the outer edges of my hair. Now we're gonna get to the good part. We're going to flat iron my hair. Very excited. I'm gonna clean up. I've lost virtually all counter space. So I'm gonna just quickly clean up, put the blow dryer away, get the flat iron out, and uh, get started on my hair again. I'm gonna go ahead and get my hair sectioned, open her up, and turn her on. And because this is my first time, I'm not gonna set the heat to the highest setting. I'm gonna set it to, I think 210 is the highest. So I'm gonna put it to 185. It is 455, let's see how long that takes to warm up. We're gonna wait. That took 15 seconds. Okay. I probably didn't need to go over it that much but I went over it four times. <laughs> that was not necessary. But look at my ends. That is straight as heck. Turned up the brightness so you can see. That is super straight. Okay. So that's the back. I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see. It's obviously not an even part because I put up a little bit on this side, but that's the back of my hair. is the finished look. Here's the back. I think I might need a trim. I can't see it. I won't actually see my hair until um, I'm editing the video. I do think I need a trim. I'm gonna wrap it tonight and hope that tomorrow it comes out okay. I haven't wrapped my hair in a while. My hair is, is rather thin and it can lie flat. I have to use the flat iron a bit to kind of bump up my hair at the front here and give it a little bit more body. But for the most part, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, my ends are super straight. The comb really just kind of passes right through there, which is really nice. And I know that with wrapping it, I'm gonna wrap it in the opposite way tomorrow and then that should also give it a little bit more um, bounce or body underneath. But I think it looks pretty good. I would say this 
flat iron is a definite buy. I don't know how I feel about the blow dryer yet, but the flat iron for sure I would highly recommend. And this is coming from a noob. I haven't used the flat iron in years, maybe like seven or eight years. And so I barely remember what it's like to have one. But based on how this flat iron might hair, I didn't hear any sizzling, like I barely saw any heat rising or anything like that. Look at that. Get closer so you can see my ends. They definitely need a trim. I do love the heat shield, um, but I won't know how I fully feel about it until I wash my hair next week and see if I have any heat damage. And then um, the gold dust oil is really, really good. And it feels like I did a really good job considering I have a flat iron in my hair by myself in years. I think I did pretty good, guys. But I don't know how much of it is me and how much of it is the flat iron. But still, highly recommend the Corel. And I do love the Olaplex. The Olaplex is amazing. So that is it for my demo of the Dyson flat iron, blow dryer, the Orbe Gold Lust Collection, the Bondor, the Olaplex 3. I do really love the products that I have and I'm looking forward to using them some more. Thank you guys so much for watching this casual vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions, just feel free to leave them in the comment section below. But thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye guys.